Hello everyone, this is Kenny. Welcome back to Meyer Gun Reviews. It's been over 14 months since I've done an air gun review. I had to move, it was very expensive, ended up selling just about all my guns. I kept a few which were kind of special to me. I kept the Hotsome 125 Sniper Spring version for bigger varmints. And I also kept the MTR 77 NP because I got a little extra into it with extra hardware. Plus it's about the hardest hitting thousand foot per second Springer I've uh, ever reviewed. So, And I've also picked up one that I'm going to review which is a Crossman Classic 2100. Uh, I'll get to reviewing that one here pretty soon. But I just haven't had a whole lot of time. I haven't recuperated uh, all the money I spent uh, moving. But uh, I've had a lot of people asking me how to build a spring compressor. I've seen the one that I have that I've done a few rebuilds with. And so I'm going to do a quick video of how I built my spring compressor. I built it basically with stuff that I had in the garage. I really didn't go out and buy anything. I started out with a three foot long pine one by six board and then I took another one by six and I ripped a three foot long one and a half inch wide strip that went there and another four and three quarter inch strip that goes right there. I sized them all up put Elmer's wood glue on them, took the brad nailer and nailed it in place and then I put some pilot holes in and uh, a total of five screws to uh, help hold it together sturdily and that's how I built the base. And because of the metal plate across the back couldn't use a wood board there so right here is the foot that uh, it rests on. I just used a, I think it's 5 16th bolt, a uh, few washers for shims to get the right height, and then a washer underneath and a nut, and then I ran another nut up on top of that for this plastic uh, protective foot to go slide on. I didn't want a bare bolt scratching up the surface, whatever it sat on. So I've got that uh, rubber foot on there. As far as where the gun mounts, this is a uh, one foot long, one inch diameter pipe. I used it from a broken bark lamp that I had where part of the pipe was bent. Sawed off a straight one foot section. And actually that's a little bit larger in diameter. You know, right here where I haven't done anything, it's 1.04 inches. I have used a Dremel and sanding stuff to uh, sand that down to 1.03 inches so it uh, the scope rings will fit on it better. And if you are going to use your spring compressor on a number of rifles with both dovetail and weaver mounts, I would recommend making two of these pipes and either get a solid one inch bar stock that is one inch in diameter or if you take a one inch pipe which might be a little over you might want to run that across the lay and then cut it down to one inch your scope rings will fit on much better and these are medium tall heavy duty dovetails here and what I did was you know after I cut it and I kind of sized up where everything was going to go I had a bar with a template uh, bar with the three holes in it so I just drilled the three holes. I thought I'd start out with three because that way it should be sturdy. I really only need the front and the rear, don't need this middle one here. But I put the pipe over the bolts, I set the bolts up so they were all even height and then I placed the one inch pipe on there, clamped it down, 
did three spot welds to hold it in place and then welded the bolt heads to the pipe and that way it's adjustable you can uh, loosen up the bottom nuts and then uh, crank your up, uh, top side nuts down to uh, raise or lower uh, the elevation of the rifle and uh, so it is adjustable as to what which height scope rings you're going to use and then for the back part here these are a couple of uh, 2x4 90 degree angle nail plates you can pick them up at any lumber yard like Home Depot, Lowe's or any smaller lumber yard I placed one on the top flush at the end and one on the bottom and then I clamped them down tight together I drilled the three holes through uh, and bolted them together so they're nice and tight and then on the back side I did a little weld right here they look kind of crappy but it's just a cheap 115 bolt uh, wire feed welder that I did that with so then I had my uh, sturdy base to uh, mount the uh, worm screw uh, puller through this is a uh, just a standard six inch uh, wheel gear puller you can get it at any probably any hardware store any automotive store uh, just six inch uh, I puller bolted it I drilled a hole through here and bolted it there and then I took a couple pieces of angle iron and welded them in place with my cheap welder and then through the back side drilled the holes through put in these bolts and it is just ultra sturdy you cannot bend it it will not give and then this you can move your uh, scope rings either way to line it up with this and then you can adjust the height of these you know up and down so everything uh, lines up uh, like this I'll show you a picture of a rifle all lined up so like I said it's uh, just built with uh, junk that I had around the garage and uh, you know I, I was not using the gear puller anymore so I used that I think you can pick them up for 15 to 20 bucks at uh, uh, automotive parts store or go into a tool shop that sells uh, that, that type of automotive tools. And if you got a welder, you might be able to make something like this without a welder. Uh, you probably have to use uh, wider angles in here and then that might give you enough elevation to uh, bolt this right to these plates and you really wouldn't need a welder then it is possible to do it without a welder you could use uh, longer bolts and drill through your pipe or bar and then just so you would have the bolt head on the top and a nut on the bottom and you, you, so you're just basically going to use one inch longer bolts to do that so it is possible to build it without a welder you definitely would want to omit uh, this one but uh, that is how I built uh, my spring compressor and it works very well I've gotten a lot of use out of it. Looking forward to, to using it again one of these days for another video. But for right now, that is how you can build a spring compressor. And I'm looking forward to finding enough time to do the review on the Crossman Classic 2100. Thank you for watching this video and uh, welcome back.